Good morning, Hornet. I'm Billy along with Mark and Patricia with today's morning announcements. Today is Thursday, January 10th. On this day in 1776, Thomas Paine published Common Sense, a pamphlet advocating for American independence. Today is also National Save the Eagles Day. The academic team will hold a meeting today, Thursday in room 214 after school at 240. National History Day Club will meet today after school in the library. Congratulations to those who were invited to attend the superintendent's breakfast. Take a look. Welcome to the first marking period superintendent's breakfast. We are here to congratulate all Hornet scholars. At the end of the first three marking periods, the superintendent recognizes those students who have achieved a 4.25 grade point average or higher. They also honor the students who are able to excel in their classes while participating in extracurricular activities like sports, clubs, and the arts. All students interested in participating in the variety show, auditions will be held today, January 10th, after school in the auditorium. Come join the fun and showcase your talent on stage. Everyone is welcome. For more information, see Miss Atamian. So I band, are you guys gonna audition for the variety show? Yeah, and we're really excited. We have a great set list prepared. It's great, looking forward to it. Attention <laughs> girls show fans. All girls interested in trying out for green and white relays and novelties. Tryouts will be this Sunday, January 13th from one to three in the Grizz Gym. Any questions, see Ms. Peters in room 229. The class of 2022 is currently hosting a clothing sale. All orders are due by January 21st. Please see Mrs. Joseph or Mr. Feinstein with any questions. Attention storytellers. For anyone interested in joining our PBHS Storytellers Troop, there will be a brief meeting after school this Friday, January 11th in the library. Any seniors interested in pursuing a career in the military, ASVAB exam is today, January 10th. Attention seniors, time has come to choose a yearbook pose for this year's yearbook. Log on to Photo Tracker to select your pose by January 15th. In other on-stage news, this year's musical is The Addams Family. Auditions will be held Tuesday, February 12th at 5 p.m. in the auditorium. Pair a song with sheet music, 32 bars, and wear comfortable clothes. A short dance combination will be taught. For more audition information, see Ms. Shoe and Guidance or visit pvstheater.com. Baby pictures for the yearbook will be accepted until Wednesday, January 23rd. Please submit baby pictures to the yearbook mailbox in the main office. Don't forget to order your yearbook before it's too late. This month's guidance senior newsletter has been published and can be found on the PV website, located as well on the senior bulletin boards next to the cafeteria. This month, six scholarship opportunities as well as PV's college applications. The National Art Honor Society is sponsoring a Super Bowl canned soup food drive for the Human Needs Food Pantry. Please donate cans of soup to the collection boxes in the main office, guidance, the library, and outside Miss Ingram's room in 151. The class of 2020 is having a Chipotle fundraiser this Saturday from 4 to 8, as well as a Panera fundraiser on the 19th from 4 to 8. Please make sure you have a flyer or a picture to show at the register. Please ask Ms. Briggs or any of your officers for additional information about this and upcoming fundraisers. Now to Mark with sports. Wrestling won yesterday, 55 to 22. Today's basketball plays Clifton at home and girls basketball plays Clifton away. And also Patricia has won my heart. Zoom oh, in. I'm so honored. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know, those are, those, are, um, those are your lips because they're nice and they're pretty. And <laughs> just know that um, you're mine now. So, <laughs> so thank you very much. Uh, you, can, you can say the weather now. Cloudy today with a high of 33 and a low of 20. That's the buzz. Have a great day, Hornet. Take it away, guys. This thing called love, and I just can't handle it. 